Bobo versus Yezid. I wonder what characters they're gonna play. Bobo is playing Dark Pit so far. Not sure if you pull out his infamous Game and Watch, but I, I don't know. He was what a Game and Watch main. Yeah, he is Game and Watch main. That's why I was unsure if he would pull out his Game and Watch because uh, maybe he's just like taking it easy. Totsugeki. <laughs> that's so cursed. EK Totsugeki. <laughs> that's, that's right, my friends. You guys should play Nest the Dolphin Boy in Super Smash Brothers. Imagine if Nest just had Mace Totsugeki. Yeah, imagine if his dash tag was a dolphin. Would he be a top tier? <laughs> yeah, definitely. The dolphin would be a disjoint. <laughs> oh, actually, it's not a disjoint in Strive. Uh, it's actually a thing. it's a reverse disjoint. It's where a reverse it, like, loses disjoint? To everything. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> so, like, the hurt box extends farther than the hitbox. Wow, that's so kind of just, just like Ness's head. Yeah, it's so like Ness's head. Wow, it, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Alright. I wonder what characters they'll be going. Whoa, whoa versus Yezid. Now they're deciding if they want to button check. Totsugeki is just Falcon Cake. Perhaps that is true. Hmm. I don't know. I get different vibes from the moves. Yeah, I think I Falcon recently Cake's... switched to Mei in Strive. I see. Who, who did you play previously before Mei? Bye. I see. Oh, they are both going to go their mains. Game of Watch and C. Wow, they're both taking it really seriously. They're going to crack it up to 100 straight from the yeah. get-go. Not that Yesen wasn't serious when he was playing the Joker. Yeah, Because but, he uh, is kind of a co-main, I guess. Yeah, but uh, his, he is more like well-known for his Steve mm -hmm. at this point. It is the character that he manages that he manages to pull off a lot of clutch wins with. Mm -hmm. right, right now, Wowo extending the lead. He's just trying to play the game real quick. Okay, Whoa, grab, grab, grabs now with a combo. It's kind of quite interesting. Oh, that up trade looks like that's into very the wonky. Up Yeah, very wonky. Okay, Yesen, walling him out with the back air. He needs the materials here. He hasn't gotten oh. gold yet. That's going to be his big power spike in the game. I'm treating yeah. it like a Volva, like he's trying to collect items or something, but still, yeah. the oh, gold powered he, he mine cards. Oh, and, now wow. he is, now, and now he is going to get a frame data upgrade. Right. Keep in mind, all gold. All of the gold tools have are like one or two frames faster in terms of their attack speed. So we'll only that, have... but you have a higher rate on the collect uh, the material collection. Yeah, it's especially just on faster. a stage like FD where you're using a shovel. So I can see why Yes opted to go for the gold tools right away in stock one. Yeah, and just like that, he already has the diamond. Ooh, and Smash reads... to take the suck. Yeah, he reads the linear down out of disadvantage with the uh, the F smash, and now he is going to get. <gasps> He has uh, diamonds. That's his card, which that's is a very risky diamond. decision here, because whoa, whoa, if he takes the stock here, he's going to relinquish the essence of that advantage. Yeah, one thirty nine percent though. It's not nothing to scoff at. He is going to die right. very soon. So uh, not wrong, really sure. That's oh, okay. He has another one. No worries. <laughs> Gets another diamond on the board, so no worries. All right. I guess the gamble paid off for Yesen here. Ooh, Ooh, the upsmash the up up into the up tilt, alright. Yeah, Gets his awesome diamond. Ooh, the Ooh. end tilt out of disadvantage. Game and Watch is up there going into uh, Steve's downer. It's a, very, it's a very interesting interaction because. Yeah, it's a very wonky yeah, interaction. The, it's the one move. I actually, actually do wonder is. if. Uh, I actually do wonder if uh, Game and Watch's uh, bucket can reflect uh, the end tilt. I'm not oh, really sure can. on that. Really? It can I definitely. See. I would be interested I, I to see Coco Meister do a zero to death, or he ended it with reflecting the anvil, <laughs> and I he see. died off the top. It was that's interesting. So. I want to see what we'll try and do that because I think Gezen has been throwing out quite a few anvils out, out of disadvantage. So, right. but he's not doing it directly over Wovo, so that's going to be the challenge. Yeah, that's true. He has to sniff it out. Yeah. Oh, and maybe he could try attempt to reflect the mine card as well. True. I don't think he. I don't think he's done that a single time just yet. But charges the down smash. Up the game watch down smash. A, a, a true Wi-Fi classic. Just doesn't fall for it though. Is he gonna go for the chef? No, he decides to go for the edge guard. And now yes, he's in a precarious situation. The resource situation not looking so good for him. He dies. He, he doesn't have diamonds diamond, though. But he doesn't have any more gold powered mine cards. He's gonna have to search for a gold ingot here. Yeah. Okay, I like this combo. Well, well it's like not going that, to be uh, easy for Yezen to replenish his resources. 
Is this the ledge trap? Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Trap. I've never seen this one. Whoa, that that was very weird. That was entertaining. Mobile's shield is looking very low right now. Ooh. He's getting a watch, he can make it back just fine. Wow, the FP actually working perfectly against the, the anvil. And yes, and SDing. And yes, and go pushing it a bit too far. And uh, right there, we'll, we'll, we'll take a uh, game one off the set. Yes and no. <laughs> yeah. What a set, what a phrase. Yes and no. Out of context, that would have absolutely no meaning whatsoever. Yeah, you want you want to know something funny about our region? What's so up? we have a player we have a player called Yezen right here, and then we also have another player called Zont. He plays a uh, fox and Inkling and Falco. Ah, uh, and we have Whoa Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just people with just making the most. Uh, like we we just have people with like expressions. Like, uh, yeah, we just have people which are just called expressions. I'm still waiting for one guy called Yes and No to pop up in our region, so we can have the whole uh, the whole gang, you know. So we have Yes, No, Yes, and yes and Don't. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. That is true. So we can have the whole crew. Still waiting. Maybeist. <laughs> Maybeist. Instead of. Alright, now. Counter. Yes, I'm getting the counter pick on lock. Now we're gonna see uh, what kind of sages I'm gonna go to this time. What kind of stage do you reckon okay they would for him? Um, I guess the stage where. Number one, it's big, he can set up the walls. And number two, a stage where he can use one of his better tools to collect the materials faster. Yeah. So that could be a stage like Town and City if he really wants to destroy the axe on stock one and Ooh. not use it. <laughs> he could also go to Smashville. Yeah, right here. Not right now, they're, they're at Smashville. All right. I guess he isn't preferring the close up game. I'm not sure which tool um, Steve collects the materials the fastest with, but I think it's, Axe is I think it's, on the I think, it's, end. I think it's probably the shovel, followed by the Axe. Yeah, shovel, then, and then Axe. Then the pickaxe being the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's like in Minecraft. Kind of, huh? That yeah. is true. Steve really is a Minecraft character in, another, in a different universe. Yeah. I feel like the same thing can be said about uh, Kazuya being a Tekken character in this yeah, universe. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Or, you Except know, Myra and Mithra. a fantasy character yeah. in this universe, because he has so much range, he kind of just plays the game. Yeah. Like, they're like, it's turn-based. If he whips the board, mm -hmm. then it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The characters, the DLC characters feel surprisingly authentic to their home series, which I like yeah. about this game a lot. Definitely. I definitely feel that way about them, too. Although, I might be lying because I only play Smash Brothers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, I'm just I saying mean, that because... I, I play quite a number of these characters' home series games. And I definitely did feel like the game does a pretty good job at representing a lot of their... Uh, I don't know, like their home series. Is. <laughs> I think one of my favorites is definitely Joker. It's uh -huh. just because his, his movement and just like the way he's modeled and all, all how all his moves are designed, it just look very stylish and very over the top, just like Persona 5. <laughs> and Yesen with this interesting um, TNT into block high block ledge chat. I'm not sure yeah. exactly how it's supposed to pan out for Yesen, but it generates enough pressure, I suppose. Yeah. Although. Right here, whoa, whoa, is the whole stock down and uh, Mao that trade. <gasps> Wait, Yesen actually used both of his diamonds on the first stock? Now he yeah. doesn't have one. But it's okay, because now he's gold and he can use that as well, so. Oh, but he's he almost out of charges, game. maybe. You get three mine cards per gold ingot, and I'm not sure how many ingots this guy has. True. Okay, down throw. This is gonna be huge! Down throw! Nine! He goes for it. He just decided to go for it. Yep. Oh, what okay, a mad so with the gold tool. And, and just like that, the game is in his favor. I mean, not in his favor, but the game is even out. Right. But I was still... already with that, and now it probably is an even game. Mm hmm. And one of the things that I'm noticing about Wowo's Game & Watch is that he converts off of the Nair strings. He goes pretty into well. the up there, and he uh, plays out the situation that happens in Advantage State pretty well afterward, dropping multiple yeah. up airs to prevent Yesen from coming down. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely really good at keeping people in disadvantage. Okay, but right now the TNT, it's kind of, a, high block. kind of a wacky Diamonds. situation. Yesen with the uh, diamond, and Bobo is like at definitely at kill percent for game watch. So uh, he's going to have to be very careful. 
The diamond back up. I'll take it. And game two will go to yes. Very close game. Very close game. All things considered, yes, it was in the lead. Up until yeah, the yes, it was, yeah, yes, it was in the lead until Wo went for the went for the clutch, the clutch option. I respect the man, and he got it as well. So props to him. Yeah, you want to know a fun fact about Wo? What is that? The fun fact is that he's actually won a tournament set with down throw nine before on oh, wow. stream. So he was he was losing. But then, just as he was losing, he got the grab, and he got the down throw, and he got a 9. And he won the a game. A true Game & Watch main. A true Game & Watch main. Actually, but, come to think of it, Game & Watch has several routes into a 9. Yeah. I mean, obviously the 9's not guaranteed, but you know. Right. Play, playing the, uh... Being a gambler is part of the fun, you know. Especially if you play a character like Game of Watch, Hero, uh, who else? Luigi. Who else is... Luigi. Gambling yeah. Gambling Iris is funny. Yeah. If if you play one of those characters, you were definitely a gambler. Faust. <laughs> Faust. All right, and we go to go into game three of the set. Game of Watch versus Steve once again. El combate empieza pronto. All right. It seems like. Uh, what, what stage would they go to this time? That's oh, a really sure. Yeah. Ooh, Yoshi's. Alright. Smaller stage. That which may mean that he has an easier time killing Yezid. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I but really. Yezid does have the uh, privilege of using Shovel on the plat, which he would like to do to collect materials. Yeah, definitely. Just, just like right there. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's hard to be on the platform against the Game & Watch with all his tools to... Yeah. Pressure you while you're there. I really would like to see Wolf reflect, Wo re start reflecting minecarts and Anvil still, because mm -hmm. he, he hasn't ship. been reflecting anything at all. True. And I feel like that that's it's like a lot of wasted potential. And because he hasn't and done yeah. this for the whole set, like it will be a really good mix-up at a crucial moment. Now, this is the first time I think Jessen is crafting iron, which yeah. I'm a fan of. I like personally. I prefer seeing Steve's go for iron on stock or gold. I see. Over gold. Over it's stone as well. It's all about the resource management of Steve. Mm -hmm. Who reads the downer with the F-Smash. And now he's going to be rewarded. He has a guaranteed diamond set for stock 2. And yep. this is the the reason you go route into iron during the first stock. Yeah, you, you just play, play, you just play a slow, consistent tool. Then you, go, you, you get your comeback mechanics the second stock. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh boy. spike! Down tilt. Okay. And the minecart, very tricky to deal with. Even if you don't get grabbed by the, the card itself, it has a lot of hits on it, and so it's tricky to avoid, especially oh, no, from inside the your shield. I think Wo would add it really badly. He just died off the top at like Right, yes, and choosing to craft a diamond, seeing as he got a second one. I like the choice. Yeah, just like... He's rich. He's he's, he's, he's he's like, just like, trying to stack his lead as much as possible. He's just like... Gambling it all. Oh wow! Oh, oh that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Steve surprisingly gets a lot out of jab into combo into spike. Is yeah. this gonna be a spike? That's it. That's the game. That's the game. A, th a very dominating three stock from the Steve, and yes, it will take the set. And now we will go on to grand. We will go on to uh, finals with uh, Steve. Against Steve sine versus waves sine, sine waves, uh, entire men. arsenal of yes. characters. Yes, we will never know what 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 you play ever. Some say he's a delusional nest mate. Some say he's actually the the biggest chat ever, and he's actually a Ganon main. But some say Perhaps he's he a cringe palu main. What? I've never seen his cringe palu. So we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. Perhaps we won't. Yeah. So right now we'll be waiting for uh, finals. It's been quite a bracket. Yeah. We've had okay, the sets. Dropping the set to the noodles in round one. That's wow. a surprising upset. 